know that you're a phoenix, so rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you were scarred, but you a czar. You can call to the grave. I know you know that a lion's inside, sleeping in your heart. Step back and remember who you what up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into part four of my first time reaction to Hamilton. I've enjoyed the first three parts and all of the songs that encompass them so, so much. I am so excited to be getting back into Hamilton, so much so that uh, if you hear my stomach growling, just, just ignore it. I am actually filming and instead of eating, and I am starting off the video with my stomach growling, so by the time this video ends, who knows uh but with that being said that just shows you how into this i am i even got this shirt sent to me which says young scrappy and hungry which is amazing because i absolutely love the my shot song but um yeah it's, it's a great day hopefully you guys are having a great day if you're new here definitely make sure to subscribe not to miss my future parts to the hamilton reactions i've already released three i'm going to go all the way through breaking it up into parts definitely make sure to go check out those other parts they're on the channel in the hamilton playlist that'll be linked in the pinned comment down below as well as in the description of this video so definitely don't want to miss those but but without further ado, let's get into this, and I'm seeing all of you guys on the other side. How does a bastard orphan, son of a whore, go on and on, grow into more of a phenomenon? Okay, okay, I gotta say something about it. You know I do. So the whole last video I did, part three, which was Right Hand Man, I kept talking about all of these recurring motifs that came up in the song including the intro, which pulls apart from the Alexander Hamilton. This is for the people who didn't watch part three, but are just gonna watch this. I know that not everybody's watching all of the parts. Some people are watching parts that just relate to their favorite songs. So for those who didn't see it, I basically spent that entire video picking apart different little recurring motifs and references to previous songs in other songs, including the intro of the song, which includes uh, part of the intro, which is the violin part, from the Alexander Hamilton like opening song, right? This this just this just blatantly ha this is just the Alexander Hamilton intro down to like the first line or two of the lyrics that Burr's doing, and it's the same person doing it because Burr does it in the Alexander Hamilton song. I know that that's like very obvious to other people. I just find it very funny that like I I was so invested in like the recurring motif thing uh, from like, literally the first notes of that song. And then they're like, yeah, we're just gonna drop the whole same intro on you. Uh, so we'll see how this how this takes it. But um, I can't just let that pass by and not say something about it, you know? Go on and on, grow into more of a phenomenon. Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth bother. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Hamilton still wants to fight, not right. Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable. We're reliable with the ladies. There are so many to devour. They delighted and distracted and Martha Washington named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. <laughs> 1780, a winter's ball. If you could marry a sister, your rich son. Is it a question of if or which one? Hey. 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 I do, I do. Time. T time out. Hit, hit, hit the pause, bro. Pause. I did already, but I just needed to. I needed to let that out because that's what my brain was saying. Um, so Eliza is, is now talking about Hamilton and the comments that already spoiled for me. Which, by the way, please don't spoil major plot points for me in the comments. I, I wanted you guys want me. I want to react to this genuinely. It kind of defeats the purpose of the videos if you guys spoil major plot points. But Eliza is, is smitten with Hamilton, right? Eventually, she becomes Eliza Hamilton. So at some point, they get married, right? But, but he kissed Angelica's hand earlier, right? Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw what I saw, right? And I know that 
the sisters are up there on the little ledge in Alexander Hamilton, and they're like, we're the ones who loved him. So is, is Hamilton a, a two-time influzy? He, 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 he not even a homie hopper. He a sister swapper. Like, that's, that's, cr that's a bar, by the way. I just came off the dome. Um, anyway, this is... I'm tense, is what I'm saying, because, like, knowing that he eventually ends up with Eliza somehow, but also, and also that she's, like, singing that, I don't know, he walked into the room and she felt, it was like a spotlight on my boy, it, it's clear who she was, who she was talking about, but, but also, I see, I know I saw him kiss Angelica Hand, and I know I saw her up on the, on the ledge, when, when, I don't understand, maybe it's a familial love, and, like, the kissing on the hand is just, like, a greeting from that time period. So maybe I'm... I, I'm probably overanalyzing. Let's, let's go. Let's see what happens. But I just... I don't know. I'm tense, is what I'm saying. I'm tense. I don't know what's up with Hamilton eyes, but she is, she, she's drowning in my boy eyes, okay? He got the eyes on him. Uh, I really like that when it says drowning in it, that the background dancers do the little, like, tsunami wave thing with their, I just, it was just a little touch. I thought it was cool. And it also really stuck out to me, because that's, like, very not ballroom dancey. Like, the, all the spinning and twirling with the big puffy dresses and all of that, that's, like, very, you know, that, that kind of fits with the, I don't know, shindig, ball, I don't, I don't know what you would call this. Whatever little jamboree they're having, uh, though it, it fits with the, the setting, right? But that was like very distinct, like, oh, that's a, that's a nod to the lyrics, you know? Uh, I thought that was cool. Also, uh, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking out. She said dips, she had dips. Angelica, what are you doing, okay? Eliza, she, she leaned over, she, you see her looking at, you see her seeing him, and you, she, she looking at him, she trying to twirl her dress and stuff. She feeling some type of way. She all lost in the boy eyes, like Nemo and stuff, and, and she, she even says, yo, this one's mine. Maybe she didn't, like, make it clear enough. Like, the one with the eyes or, the, I don't know, the, the, that one is my, I don't know. Maybe she was being too subtle and Angelica thought she was talking about, who was standing next to Hamilton? Was that Burr or was that Washington or Lawrence? I know earlier, uh, I did see uh, when uh, Hamilton kissed Angelica on the hand, Lawrence was going after her too. And Burr was going after her in the uh, Skylar sister song. So everybody just want Angelica, okay? She is the hot commodity in New York in 1780, okay? But um, I don't remember who was standing next to, to Hamilton. So maybe Angelica thought that Eliza was talking about whoever was next to Hamilton and not Hamilton himself. But um, I'm feeling bad. For, I'm, I'm feeling bad for my... Like, even on screen right now, he says, where are you taking me? And she says, I'm about to change your life. No! Don't do not change. I, I don't want you to change his life. Leave him alone. Okay. There's the lies are called dibs I, I'm hurting for my girl. Okay. She finally got her song Angelica you had your song. Okay. Oh, Charlotte's sis, Skylar sisters I, I keep mispronouncing their name because it's it's why is it spelled like that? Uh, who, who spells their name like that? Okay, that is not how you spell Skylar anyway on on the Skylar sisters You were hitting all the high notes. I already gave you all your praise. Okay, this Eliza finally getting some time to shine and you gotta steal her man i don't like it i don't I, i'm not with it okay maybe i'm overreacting i'm probably overreacting but i'm also dramatic by nature so shut up leave me alone i okay let's continue oh she's pointing she, oh 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 i didn't see that the first time okay all right sorry i just blew out the eardrums of everybody who's who's watching with headphones on sorry i didn't i didn't see the point before i just i heard her say suddenly you look back at me but i was focused on eliza last time i wasn't focused on alexander hamilton and and angelica and so i didn't because 
this time I was looking at them because I was trying to figure out who was standing next to Hamilton to like support my little theory that I threw out there. But then this time when actually looking at them, I see that during the, uh, and you look back at me and I'm, I'm helpless or whatever, Angelica is actually pointing to Eliza. So Angelica is playing matchmaker, okay? She's like, hey, yo, you see the one in the big blue Cinderella gown? Yeah, that's, go hit my girl up, okay? Go, go make your move, player. Um, I feel better about that. I feel much better. This is this is a better situation than what I thought it was going to be. So, okay, let's now that I'm now that I'm done like losing my mind. Let's let's actually get back into it. Elizabeth Skyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Skyler, my sister. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. Show you to it. Okay, sorry, I was I was jamming. I, I was supposed to be talking, but I was jamming because the song is good. I like it. I like it. I like that this uh, this song has a very different vibe to the Skylar Sisters, which is led by Angelica. And I feel like the songs so far up until this point have all been crafted in a way to uh, be subtle nods to or developments upon the characters who are leading said songs. And I feel like Eliza's song being like cute it just matches her vibe. It's it's a it's a bright and happy kind of song. It starts off not so happy. She was stressing. I was stressing. Y'all was probably laughing because y'all knew they was gonna end up together. Technically, I knew they was gonna end up together, but I didn't. I thought my boy was about to get shysty real quick. Okay, I was not. I wasn't with it. Okay, I was was worried about my girl Eliza's heart, but it worked out. I was I was tripping. Okay, that's my bad. I see. But um, yeah, I like that. Her, her song matches her vibe. She says earlier that uh, she was never the type to like seek the spot. Like she's just like a, a shy, cute girl. She, it took Angelica going over to Hamilton to like bring her and then she got all like flustered and you know, she's it's, like drowning in his eyes and whatever. And so I feel like this song matches her like sweet, like cute vibe. I don't know, that's just, just the vibe I get off of her. She's like a, a bunny or something. I don't know. Um, Really, Hamilton's like a bunny because that dude is horny. We'll get to that in a second. The the song with uh, that Angelica leads, the Skylar Sisters, is like way more funky. It's sassy. It's like it's gritty and smooth. It, it's Angel. It just matches Angelica's character. And by the way, I like that song so so much. Uh, but I feel like it it really fits Angelica's character really well. I also think it fits Burr's character as well. And he like takes part of that song. He's rapping in it. Um, but in this case, it this is a it includes the same characters. I mean, Hamilton's in this more, but you get what I'm saying. The the same characters are like kind of the the narrative or plot focus of the song, but it's a completely different vibe, and I feel like that vibe matches the character who is now leading this song, as opposed to last time. Also, my boy Hamilton, he got he he smoothed with it. Okay, he is a lot of things, and one of them is smooth like butter. Okay, my boy, he, he I don't remember what he said. Something about like if if it took a war to meet you, then it's worth it or something. I don't know. It was smooth though. Okay, I almost you know he almost I almost took my shirt off. My clothes almost jumped off like Bruce Almighty, bro. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's too, it's too much, okay? He caught me, and I'm way over here. So, um, yeah, I know she felt some type of way about that. That's, that's a line. That's, that's, a, that's a fire line. It is. It is what it is. But also, Hamilton, Hamilton's kind of like, I don't know. I don't, I don't really trust his intentions right now. Like, I'm, I'm, earlier, he was just kind of like, you know, kicking it with the boys, boys talk. I don't remember exactly how he worded it, but it, the, he was basically like, when he was talking to Burr, he was like, uh, the question is like, which sister are we gonna get? Like that, that, that plus like his, his little, you know, it's a little, he hit it on you real quick. Um, I don't know. He he seemed he seemed a little he seemed a little a little freaky deaky is all I'm saying. Freaky frog. 
You freaky, fro you a freaky frog. I don't know. Eliza might be a little too innocent for him. Although, it's the quiet ones. They always say it's the quiet ones. So, for those who know, they know. For those who don't, that hey, that's not for me to tell you. So, uh, maybe she might be able to keep up with him. But right now, he, you know, he, he a little, he, he a little out there. So, uh, we shall see. So one other additional thing before I go back. Maybe I heard it wrong, but I, I felt like she said it was like a couple weeks that, that, that all this happened. That he went from like, you know, kissing her sister hand, which I, again, I'm guessing is just like him being like chivalrous. And so this is a different time period. You kiss a, a woman hand today. First off, you might get a purse to the face. That's let's start there. But he got the dreamy eyes. OK, I got it. Whatever. Um, so. Even still, you kiss a woman hand, even if she like you, y'all go together now. That's, that's y'all like this, okay? So, um, but it's a different time period. Maybe he was just greeting her, being real formal and nice and whatever. I don't know. But the, the time period from when they met, when they got introduced by Angelica, the GOAT, the MVP, lead the league in assists, you feel me? To, to, to right here, when, when he meeting Pops and getting his blessing, like you... You get people's blessing when you're getting married, right? Like, is that, am I misunderstanding the situation? Are they engaged now? Is that what happened? Is this, was this a, I know dating wasn't as much of a thing back then, but like, she ain't even had her full cycle, boy. Like, slow down, slow down. What's going on? I know, different time period. I'm just saying. It's to my very modern brain. It's, it's wild. It's wild. Okay. I, I couldn't. Especially back then, you couldn't get, there was no exit plan. You couldn't get no divorce. So you're going to have to be with this person forever. And you've known them like two weeks. That's, that's a lot, my guy. That's just, oh, okay. Anyway, let's get back into it. for pain a couple of college credits and my top-notch brain insane your family brings out a different side of me peggy confides in me angelica tried to take a bite of me no stress my love for you is never in doubt we'll get a little place in harlem and we'll figure it out as long as i'm alive alive i swear to god you'll never be all that Time out, time out, time, 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 time again, okay? Um, she eating, okay? I, I, I want to be clear. I understand Broadway singers all can sing, okay? Whoever doing the lighting, they, those people can probably sing. This is Broadway. I, I get it. I understand, okay? But the Skylar sisters eating y'all up. I'm saying. I, I like, I like the, the vocals. And you'll be back, okay? The, the king, he was serving. He was, he was going hard. I like the vocals in Story of Tonight a lot, even though apparently nobody else likes that song. Like, literally, I didn't get one comment on Story of Tonight in that video. Y'all are wild for that. All y'all, super wrong, because that song goes hard. Uh, and then, obviously, other moments of other songs that are, like, different vocal moments that are nice. However... The Skylar Sisters giving y'all the business, okay? Angelica was going hard in the Skylar Sisters, and uh, Eliza going hard right now. This might, this might be my new favorite vocal moment in in this uh, in this musical so far. I'm just saying, she eating, okay? She eating, all right? Yeah, going going hard, going hard. I was gonna say something else, but I I don't remember what it was because she didn't just like snatch my whole soul with the vocals. So we just we just gonna get back into. Oh, they're getting married. Yeah. I don't, again, I don't know how long this process has gone. I know that she was, like, getting all the letters from, like, the background dancers and whatever, which I'm assuming are coming from Hamilton. But I, I could have sworn that she said at one point in there that it was, like, it was, like, two weeks, dog. Maybe I'm tripping. I could be tripping. Let's assume I'm tripping. Or maybe it was just normal to get married in two weeks back then. Um... I don't know. But anyway, this is super cute. Shout out to them. Shout out to Angelica for setting them up. I'm, I'm glad that it, it worked out for my boy Hamilton. He on the come up. Okay, got him, a, got him a nice little rich girl and she loves him. And I'm happy for Eliza. She got the dude who she's like super obsessed with. So, um, yeah, let's continue.
<laughs> now everyone give it up A toast to the groom To the groom To the groom To the bride Obviously, we're into another song, right? And so uh, Angelica is giving her her maid of honor speech. Dope. I love. And R Renee, that's what you, you guys said the actress's name is. I think. I, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Renee, she ate in Skylar's sister, so I already know her part right here about to be fire at the little ceremony or whatever. Uh, hopefully, Peggy gets some some like dope singing moments as well. Maybe she'll give like the next speech. I don't know. But um, something about the beginning of this song just sounds very like nostalgic or something to me like it it's like uh the piano plus the to the groom to the groom to the groom uh and like her top line vocals are, i don't know i don't i don't know what song it is yet so i'm just gonna continue i just want to say just in case i forget with like the other wedding happenings uh that something about this song is like nostalgic or reminding me of some other song but i don't I don't know what it is. Like, not a, a song from this musical. Like, another, like, outside of Hamilton verse <laughs> song. <laughs> I was choked. Outside of the Hamilton verse. Yeah. Yeah. To the revolution. And the hope that you provide. Be satisfied. Yeah. And the hope that you provide. Yeah. 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 right now oh wait hold on hold hold on i remember that night i just might regret it for the rest of my oh whoa there whoa whoa hold on hold on sorry my brain's putting the pieces together okay so we had the the same little background dancer lady come down the steps from earlier earlier when when eliza met uh hamilton i don't know why i couldn't think of his name for a second so much is flying through my brain right so we had the same little little lady come down, and then we had the boys again, ladies, you know, from from earlier, and uh, they were saying rewind, re rewind, re rewind. Um, over and over and over again. So we're going back to the the night when Eliza and Hamilton met, when Angelica uh, set them up. I don't know like what happens that she would regret this for the rest of her days but um this that's kind of intense right also we was just at the wedding what happened what happened to the wedding why are we okay anyway i'm just i wasn't expecting them to go back okay they ain't gone back everything been going forward i ain't seen them go back yet so they're rewind re, re, rewind it caught me off guard okay i'm better now i'm i'm ready let's rewind <laughs> I've never been satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Me either. Forget yourself. You're like me. I've never been satisfied. My no! No! Oh my god! Oh no! 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 Oh! This no! That's the that's the that's the that's the kiss from earlier that I was I was. No, oh, Angelica, I, I was rocking with you so hard. Alex, I was rocking with you so hard. How you gonna, I really hope that they didn't, did they? Okay, we're just gonna, I can't talk right now. I'm just, I need to see what's gonna happen. And I know you guys you clicked on this for commentary, but I, I can't, I can't. She said he set her heart aflame and that she'd never forget his face. I don't like where this is going. I, I said this earlier. I said I did. I totally called this. And y'all looked at me like I was crazy. I know. I felt it in the force. And and I was right. I was right the whole... 
right the whole time. World's greatest detective. Let me go put my Batman shirt on. This is ridiculous, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm hot. I'm literally sweating. I'm I'm about to have a panic attack. Okay. Let's <sighs> Okay. This it's just it's not these people aren't real. Well, they they were, but they're not real right now. You don't have to you don't have to be emotional like, but I am. I am. I <sighs> rip to my girl Eliza. Let's let, okay, let's go. And when you said hi, I forgot my dang name. Said my heart of flame, every part of flame. This is not, not a game. game. Strike me as a woman who has never been satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You forget yourself. You're like me. I'm never satisfied. My name me is too. Me, me three. Okay, um, I, I, I have so many thoughts, but I, I can't process them all right now, so I, yeah. <laughs> Um, what kind of what what kind of what what kind of secret sauce Hamilton got that he he's he's saucing up all the all the all the ladies all all the rich girls in New York just want him that's what happened he just he just she, she said um something about this is what it feels like to match with with somebody who's on your level or or something like that. basically she was saying like Hamilton is on her level and she hasn't felt that before which as we figured out in part. Two, she is a sapiosexual. She's attracted to intelligence, um, which is why she wasn't rocking with all the background dancers with the muscles, and also why she wasn't rocking with Burr. Whoa, whoa, Bird, Bird totally wanted her, and and he got passed over again. Like he lost his the job and the girl to Alex. I hate this nigga too, bro. What? That's crazy. Okay, anyway. Let's put that aside. That was that was a tangent train of thought. I wasn't ready for all that. That's that's he. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he should have shot him. I'm just saying I understand a little bit more. Okay, I get why all y'all seemingly in the comments, basically everybody was Team Aaron, not Team Alex. Not that it's like Alex's fault that he kind of like stole all the Skyler. I mean, like Peggy might show up in love with this nigga in the next song. I don't understand. Okay. Anyway, back to the point. Um, it's not his fault that he's, is, is super intelligent and super charming and got the ocean eyes like Billie Eilish. And so everybody wants him. Okay. But you, you're a little bit of a hater. I'm just saying you're a little jealous, but also I understand a little bit more. Okay. Uh, why everybody seemed to be on Aaron's side seemed to be team Aaron and not team Alex and also especially if he like he two time in the sisters that ain't right that's not right okay Alex I was with you dog do you know that you had a possibility to win do you know that all of America is rooting for you do you know that and then you come in here and you treat this like a joke I was rooting for you we were all rooting for you how dare you anyway uh back, back to the point sorry I told you I had a lot of thoughts okay a lot is going through my brain right now which y'all knew y'all y'all knew this was gonna happen there's so many people at the end of the last at the end of the last two videos be like oh i'm so looking forward to when you get to to the um satisfied song oh it's, it's i can't wait till you get to the satisfied song y'all are some sadists how dare you i can't believe y'all what y'all wanted this so this is this is your fault actually it's not even lynn fault this is y'all fault or i i guess really it's it's alex's fault because like this happened. That's why we're here now, you know? Uh, but anyway, back to my train of thought, because it's this has been a mess. Uh, Angelica is a sapiosexual, and Alex is a genius. So it makes sense why she would be feeling him, right? But at the same time, how does this result in him getting married to Eliza? I don't, I don't understand at all. Now I'm like, okay, what is she regret? Is she regretting, like, do they... Do they, you know, get they little, they get they little swirl on at, at the, at the little party? Did they, did she regret passing, like, like playing matchmaker and getting Eliza together with Alex? Did, did she, re hold on. 
because she could she could regret getting Eliza and Alex together and that go in different ways. She could regret it as in like I wanted him, but I I threw you to assist, you feel me? But I should have I should have scored, I should have took it to the hoop. But she could also regret it because it's like like me and because I also have the hots for him, me and she she even made a joke about having a harem in the last song where she was like uh if you really love him you share him with me i don't like that neither and and hold on and alex said that eliza tried to take or not eliza sorry see now i'm messing up she he said that angelica tried to take a bite out of him so hold on now there was some signs i wasn't i didn't pick up on them but i'm i i'm getting them now okay we here i was eyes was wide closed but they open now okay so um I am so hot. I'm, I'm literally, I'm about to sweat my way through this shirt. Um, anyway, uh, the, um, what, what were you saying? You had a thought, and then you just went off on a train of thought. You don't even know where you are anymore, okay? Oh, oh, so she could regret it from the standpoint of, like, she, re she could regret, like, instead of getting with Alex, she gave Alex to her sister. But she could also regret, like, I gave Alex to my sister but because I liked him, we also got our swerve on, and that hurt my sister, and I regret that, right? So um, I don't know why she's regretting this moment, the way that she is regretting this moment. But um, yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot, and y'all are some sadists. You're 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 a sadist for even watching this. You're enjoying yourself. You're probably laughing at me right now. I don't care. Okay, this is this is a lot for my 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 feeble heart to process. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get back into it i don't i don't even this is crazy was peggy up on the on the on the thing on the, the on the ledge with angelica and eliza during the we are the ones who loved him part of alexander hamilton because if so that mean there might be a, a part three song where peggy is also feeling the the, the little alex wave okay she getting lost in his eyes and whatnot Two, um, and that would just be wild. That that would that would that would be some Game of Thrones level stuff going on right now. Um, but it was a different time period. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm 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 procrastinating. I'm not gonna lie. I sh I should have hit play again already, but I I don't want to because this is not go. I I literally I I picked up on it immediately, and then. I convinced, I talked myself out of, I was right. I am always right. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. I knew, okay? My, my radar was on. It was beep beeping, okay? And I picked up on it, and I was like, nah, dog, you tripping. She, look, she didn't set up a lot. They get married, and now, next song, I was proven right, okay? It was, anyway, let's continue, because I'm, about to have a heat stroke. I'm, I'm, you, y'all think I'm playing? I'm legit. I don't know if you can see me sweating. My camera quality isn't that good, so maybe not. But I am, I'm hot, dude. I'm hot. Like, I'm mentally, emotionally hot. Like, I'm, like, wh what's going on right now? But I'm also, like, physically, like, I'm, I'm hot. I'm so hot. Peach fuzz, then he can't even grow it. You wanna take him far away from this place? Then I turn and see my sister's face, and she is. Okay, time out, time, t time out. So, um, a couple more thoughts. One, that I was, I'm like, I'm calming down. I was freaking out before, okay? I was, I was not prepared for all of this that is happening in the way that it is happening, okay? It was, it was, it was a lot for me, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, but I'm, I'm realizing, I'm not really analyzing anything. I'm just, I'm just freaking out. I'm just like spazzing, okay? And that's not, that's not my style, okay? So let me do a little analysis. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm still freaking out. Um, I do like that this is like taking you through like a diff, like you're getting her thought process. You're getting a different POV on the, the situation. Like we already saw it happen through Eliza's perspective, right? And now we're getting it through Angelica's perspective. In the process, we're getting little moments where they like tell you what they're thinking. 
And I like that Angelica's is like the breakneck speed rapping, right? It's, it's her brain is firing because she's intelligent and her little moments of her like talk, does that make, I don't know if that makes sense. The little moments where it's kind of like Hamilton when he was doing the introspection, introspective sections where everything turned blue and everybody froze in my shot. He's like rapping to himself and you're like kind of getting a deeper understanding of his psyche. He's not really talking to anybody. He's just kind of narrating his thoughts for the audience. And both that moment and this moment, which has any other, I don't think any other character has had like legit, like everybody freeze internal monologue moments other than these two. And both of them have been like very rappy. And in her case, it's like really, really fast, which I think communicates both that she is intelligent because her brain is firing. She's, you know, she's having all of these really, th she's, ha she's having a really quick internal dialogue. Uh, and two, she's emotional because as evidenced by this video, when people are emotional, they tend to talk faster. And so, yeah, I think that that's like a really dope, like subtle piece of uh, character development or what i don't know i don't know the word right now okay just be happy that i haven't like passed out on the ground over the craziness that is this song but um or not not even like the song just like the the musical i was gonna say i don't know if the background dancers are doing their dancing in reverse or like they're they're rewinding their dancing but i think i'm tripping on that so i don't know i was gonna say i'll check in editing and if they're not i'll just cut this out but nah i'm just that the thought crossed my mind but i don't think that i I believe that, so I, I'll pay more attention to it, maybe, but also I'm, like, really invested in this, like, love triangle that's happening here. It's, it's a lot, okay? This is, it's like fan fiction on screen. It's, it's basically what's happening. And Alexander is penniless. Oh, that doesn't mean I want him any less. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. He's after me, he's almost Fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least I keep his eyes in my life. No, no. <sighs> she about to make me cry, dog. Why? Why did you have to do this? Like you didn't have to, you didn't have to deliver it like that. You feel me? You could have just not. You could have acted a little bit like this. The vocals is good enough on their own. You didn't have to do all the extra. Act. I know that it's Broadway, so she did. But shut up, shut up. I'm not trying to hear all that right now. Okay, I'm just saying she didn't have to add all the extra. Uh, at least I have his eyes in my life. Like, I didn't need all that, okay? I didn't need all that, okay? She could have just, could have just delivered the line how she, she could have delivered it, but not like that. Um, what's up with this dude's eyes? Like, his eyes and his brain is driving all these rich girls insane. That's a bar, okay? That's a, I just came up with that. That's a bar, hard. Um, anyway, uh, I'm now looking, I'm looking forward to part three of this where Peggy is also smitten with him because why not? Why not? Everybody loves Alex at this point. I mean, except me. Cause like, why you, why you had to do this? You could have been less charming and yeah. I have additional thoughts on like the, the whole sister swapping Angelica giving him to Eliza thing but i'm gonna save that for the outro because i i looked and i know that this song's almost over because i'm almost at where i'm supposed to stop at so um i i'll just i'll wait for that if you're interested in that and just like hearing me like talk more about this whole situation then uh stay tuned for the outro if not thanks for watching up until this point uh yeah okay let's um let's get back to it i'll leave you to it Okay, I know. I, I just applied. Shut up. I don't care anymore. I didn't see her face last time. 
And when she said that, I thought she was, I thought she was having a good time. She was not having a good time, okay? Neither am I. Me and her been in lockstep this whole time. She, I'm Amari, she Angelica, we should just get married because we've been soulmates this whole time. We've we just been feeling the same emotions from start to finish. And uh, all, the way, all the way back when she was dissing Bird, which is so, so crazy, she passed over. It's, especially because she said earlier, she was like, um, as the oldest, she got to marry somebody who's rich and Alex is penniless. And somebody in the comments then already told me that Aaron is from a wealthy family. So like, but she also, she also said in that like same little paragraph there that she doesn't really care that Alex is penniless. That doesn't make her want him any less. She just, I mean, she's, she's attracted to intelligence and Alex has it in spades. So it makes sense that she want him, but also Eliza was smitten with his eyes. And also, I think, I think she said that she liked his brain too, but she really, she was really, she was lost in them eyes. Okay, boy, Nemo out here bad. Um, and, uh, she, she. She has a, a very sweet big sister who, who said, that's all you, dog. But also, Eliza did call dibs. Now, technically, looking back at things, technically, Angelica met him first. And also, she got the little kiss on the hand. They was having a little, the little conversation before the dibs moment happened. So by the rule of dibs, technically... Angelica had dibs. When they walked, when the background dancers walked all of the uh, the little papers over to Angelica, when she was like, I don't remember how she worded it, okay? But she was basically saying, hey, if I told my sister, who is very sweet, that I wanted Alex, she would just, she would just let me have him. Like, she wouldn't, like, battle me on him. Speaking of battling people in... Okay, this is also a tangent, but like, whatever, shut up. Earlier, earlier in Eliza's song, she says, the boy is mine. The boy is mine is a very famous like 90s R&B song where two women battle over the love of the same man. I don't know if that's like, if that was an intentional reference, but earlier I was thinking that this song, like the, the very beginning of, of the wedding speech sounded like, a nostalgic like R&B song to me. It doesn't sound like The Boy Is Mine, but the fact that The Boy Is Mine was said in th in the lyrics and the song sounds like a 90s R&B song and like the general kind of, they're not battling again because they're sisters, uh, but it's like the same kind of sentiment. Um, that's really interesting. Ironically, the, the reason The Boy's Mind line stuck out to me is because of Ariana Grande's The Boy's Mind, which is like a new, th that, uh, that song came out after this, obviously, but um, The Other Boy's Mind came out in like, I don't know, 98 or something. So that's like way predates this song. So that could be a subtle reference to that song by Brandy and Monica, which is fantastic. If you ever heard it, you should go check it out. It's great. Um, but... Uh, oh, 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 the letters, the letters. That's what I was talking about. So um, I really liked that the letters that were being written by Hamilton to Eliza instead started coming in, in this like little alternate universe where uh, Angelica told Eliza, hey, he's mine. I actually got dibs. Uh, those letters from Hamilton are coming to Angelica, especially because like both... Hamilton and um, Angelica said, hey, he doesn't really care which Skylar sister he ends up with. He just wants a rich girl to, to be blunt. Like he just, he's a, a social climber. And so um, he's using us to climb that ladder. So he doesn't really care if it's me or her, whichever one would have like, he would have ended up with, we would have been getting those letters. And so, um, yeah. Okay, let's go back. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love her, she'd be silently resigned. She'd be fine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly.
Okay, so I'm gonna go cry real quick. I'm I'm literally tearing up. This is crazy. Um, and I'll be back with additional thoughts, more from your boy in a second. This video was already super long, but I just, whatever. It's gonna be longer. So uh, see you in in the outro. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, so uh, let me start with like my general thoughts and impressions on this part these songs in this part and then i will get to like more thoughts on the whole love triangle passing the the bootang off to your sister thing um so though that was incredible i felt like helpless was as i said incredibly accurate to the overall impression of the character that is eliza that i have so far i don't know how she goes on to evolve later but i'm talking about what i've seen okay and um i felt that it fit her very well just like i felt the skylar sisters fit angelica and i thought her vocals were great on that um incredible I, I was even saying i think this might be my favorite vocal moment of the uh musical so far which was a spot that was already held by angelica and then and then angelica came back and she, she stole she snatched it right back okay you may have gave her the man but you can't give her the title for vocals because um wow boy i mean I, I was feeling some type of way boys you were really hit me right here okay yeah it was great the 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 facial expression acting the the, the the voice and play everything it was fire okay it was great it was so it was so good and so sadistic like it was why why did lynn put me through that why did y'all why were y'all so excited for me to go through that i don't understand it was yeah the the rewind thing with the floor the fact that the floor was a part of the rewind process i thought was super cool um i don't know if she i don't remember her spinning but i thought she stood still while everything else around her like spun and like re rewound itself which i thought was like super super cool because like when you uh say like you're rewinding a, a cassette or something of that nature like that that's kind of the vibe that it gave me i thought that was really really cool seeing the the same moments from her pov we got to see like deeper past just what she was saying and more into what she was feeling in those moments and then also obviously she told us her, her thought process but i mean like even if she didn't even if we just saw her facial expressions and the the differences in her tone in the second time she delivered it um that yeah that that was that was that was impressive speaking of second time delivering stuff i feel like the uh start of the alexander hamilton song being at the start of i think it's called winter ball or winter bell or something like that where the boys were like getting hyped for the the dance and whatever that starts off like the exact same as the alexander hamilton song i feel like if i if i was doing that if i was playing aaron burr's character i would mess it up and end up doing the initial song or end up doing like you get what i'm saying i, I feel like i would i would mix the songs up uh in my brain but okay so let's talk about it i'm not i'm not gonna bury the lead anymore um i feel so conflicted on the whole love triangle situation that happened i know that the the point is the tragic selfless act that angelica did which was introducing the guy who she liked already to her sister because her sister also liked him and because she loves her sister she wants her sister to be happy and so she was putting her sister's happiness above her happiness uh and that's like tragic because she's sad about it she had to watch him get married like like two three weeks later but uh at the same time i feel conflicted because i'm like angelica is is very very intelligent and she is very very good at reading people and this entire part like all three songs in each one of them there are moments where hamilton seems like he's not taking this seriously from like the little like you know doing a little butterfly hump in the air type situation from uh the, the like the initial part where he's like oh it doesn't really matter what sister we get da, 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 da. angelica even says uh that he basically doesn't care which sister he ends up with he's just social climbing um and also that he's handsome and he knows it and he says like out of his own mouth 
and she then later confirms at the end of her song that he will never be satisfied like there's like so many moments in this that kind of characterize alex as no offense a not shit man and so because of that and because angelica clearly knows that it spoils that selfless act because she is seeing that her sister likes this guy and even though she likes the guy too and the guy is interested in her she gives the guy to her sister but that guy sucks and she knows that guy sucks and so what she is doing in the process is kind of trading pain for her sister now which is like sadness over the guy that you like ending up with somebody else for the pain of eliza being hurt later when she figures out that hamilton ain't shit you know both eliza and angelica characterize eliza as a sweet gullible shy girl and in the process of this situation angelica sets her up with the bad boy who's gonna break her heart and that it takes some away from the tragic nature of her self-sacrifice let me put it this way with how intelligent and how good at reading people angelica is angelica should be able to predict that hamilton likely will hurt her sister at some point in the future just based off like his intentions his behavior so on and so forth right hamilton characterizes himself to eliza in one of those songs as he was like uh, i think he said he was running amok or he was running wild something like that so he grew up wild uh he he's a social climber he's ambitious and intelligent and, and cool and beautiful eyes they both really loved his eyes for some reason he's he has good qualities but at the end of the day he is his his best qualities that he can offer to eliza are him because as of right now i mean we know he goes on to be a great man but as of right now he ain't got no land he ain't got no money he ain't got no prestige he can't offer none of that stuff to eliza all he can offer is his heart and his, his mind and so on and so forth and if that is in question which we know it is from all of the, the stuff that i detailed earlier and all the stuff that angelica detailed then it's a gamble setting them up does that make sense and if it was my sister i would not be gambling with my sister heart for this guy just because she likes him now obviously eliza is grown so she, she can make her own decision and if hamilton came after her and she wanted him and she accepted him and you can't really do anything about it but like from from an outside perspective, I'm looking at it like, would I tell my sister to date this guy? No, I absolutely would not tell my sister to date this guy, let alone be the matchmaker that sets them up, you know? Because of that characterization of Hamilton, it, it cheapens the sacrifice that she makes some, for me. Now, I'm everybody is gonna interpret it differently, but for me, I'm just like, I, I wish that either Hamilton wasn't characterized so poorly in this in this portion or that Angelica wasn't so smart and good at reading people because like if she didn't know that he wasn't shit then it wouldn't matter she's just setting him up with the the guy who her sister likes who's super smart and has the dreamy eyes right but because she knows that he sucks and he says to her that he sucks and in the process she still like gives that guy to her sister it is a it's a gamble and again she could be less cynical than me like i i understand that even having all of these details you could imagine eliza being so sweet so loving that when alex gets with her it changes him to the point where he doesn't go on to hurt her and doesn't treat her like dirt so to speak but every all of the information that angelica had coming up to that point i just i wouldn't make that gamble with my sister's heart that's all i'm saying and so it, i just i wish that like one of those two things were left out either angelica didn't read him like a book or uh he wasn't characterized as being so not great <laughs> uh because now i'm i'm hearing i'm never gonna be satisfied and i'm thinking infidelity you know and so i i just like i can picture this down the road leading to eliza getting hurt by hamilton and while that is not angelica's fault she is smart enough and had enough information to be able to predict that and so that yeah that bothers me a bit i'm not gonna lie but overall all that aside this was great the vocals on it was great the the stage setting stuff the background dancing and stuff is super cool i really love getting the meeting from a different perspective and all of that. it was it was super tragic but I feel like it, it could have been even more so if I didn't have that extra information to make me 
doubt the potential of where this could go. And so those are my thoughts on it. I know that's gonna piss off a bunch of people. They'd be like, oh, you're overthinking it. And oh, you're ruining the song. That's not the point. Okay, maybe, but you clicked on this video and stayed all the way to the end of this incredibly long video because you wanted my honest thoughts and feelings on the stuff that I'm reacting to. And these are my honest thoughts and feelings. I was choking up, about to cry. I was literally tearing up at the end because it is tragic. But also a part of me is like, what are you doing? Why are you why are you setting your, your sweet, lovable sister up with this dude of all people? At least set her up with Burr. At least he got some money. So if he turned out to be trash, then she not gonna be living in squalor, you know? Not to say that she should be a, thinking like a gold digger, like, well, Alex is, but um, my point is that all Alex has is who he is as a person. As he said, all I have is my honor. And if your honor is in question, then you ain't got nothing, bro. You can't get with my sister. That's all I'm saying. You can't have her. So in summary, what I'm saying is I get that the song is supposed to be interpreted as this like Angelica falling on the sword, jumping on the grenade type situation, uh, metaphorically, for her sister and prioritizing her sister's heart over her own. And it's supposed to be selfless it's it's also cheapened by the fact that the grenade the sword in question is uh, a trash man and so um you know if he was if he was as great as he could have been portrayed to be then this would have been like i would have been on the floor drowning in my own tears but um yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this video i know that this was a lot it really really does mean a lot uh that you stayed if you did stay again drop a lion emoji down in the comment section let me know that you stayed so i can thank you personally because wow this was a journey right a huge roller coaster of emotions um but i really appreciate you going on it with me so thank you so 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 much for staying to this point definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share not to miss future parts of my reactions to hamilton hopefully they're not all this long but honestly there might be some more okay if they do some other crazy stuff they're gonna be long so um stick around for that and i'll be seeing all of you guys here on the channel next time have a great day peace Twilight. These guys no blues A new love, but we know that it accrues Like time in a QS shampoo New bamboo, much more of it will ensue I'm caught in this trance in loop Of sinking down in the stew You change up the brew, now life tastes so brand new It's delicious like fondue Under the moonlight tonight Stars and hearts shimmering Shimmering, who I am you're a bad guy, you are, I'm nice